Chapter 40, A Lively Day The little two-legged monster no longer laid there motionless, after seeing Zhu Feng and posing with its his paws, Zhu Feng was happy. I want to go up there. Yan Mo stood up and faced the human face bird standing on the nest. Both hands opened and made two fanning moves, and then the buttocks continued to wriggle twice. Zhu Feng did not understand at first, but did walk a few times back and forth staring at the little two-legged monster, and picked up the fur on the body, facing the nest wall and standing quite down, and then grabbed a piece of melon skin and tried to kneel down. Waiting for the little the two-legged monster, he immediately yelled at him. Hey! Don't dirty the nest! Yan Mo stretched out his hands and looked at the bird in silence. Zhu Feng tried to stick a paw out of him. Success! This big bird really does not only have a human face, Yan Mo was annoyed, the bird's brain volume is certainly larger than the giant bird of the same general type. Yuan Zhang glared at his ankle, and this time he was fortunate that the human face bird did not directly grip his claws into his flesh when it snatched him, but held his ankle like a branch. So his right ankle and calf were feeling very painful, but the bones are fine, it may be swollen for a few days. Jean, look! Yuan Meng slapped him and pointed at the stone pillar. Yuan Jean looked up and saw a man hanging from the nest at the bird's foot. When he was about half a person above the ground, Yan Mo let go of his hand and thrashed, and barely landed safely outside the nest. Jumping and yelling, Yuan Meng was yelling at Yan Mo, Little Mo, we are here. See, brothers. Not far away, the troubled brothers were trapped in the bushes waving, and Yan Mo walked to the edge of the stream yesterday, picking up the hem of the animal skin and relaxing completely. F asterisk CK, so cool. The boy who has not fully developed can't help but shake his body. Chu Feng set his wings on the heights, looked at the small two-legged monster below, and the two big ones on the other side. Do I want to let them play with the little the two-legged monster? Great, you are still alive. Everyone thought you were dead, haha, I almost thought I was going to die. Yuan Meng was so happy that he couldn't help but beat Yuan Zhan while he was talking. Yuan Zhan was annoyed by his screaming and he slapped him. Suddenly awakened Yuan Meng jumped a bit, like just reacting and pointing to Yuan Zhan screaming excitedly, Little slave, little emo, look. You see who this is, Zhan is coming. Yan emo mouth twitched, this news is not happy news at all, how is it good that that bastard is here? He would rather Yang Wei come here rather than Yuan Zhan. At least Yang Wei is still relatively easy control to some extent, but Yuan Zhan. This kid is definitely a black belly bastard. Yuan Zhan is not a fool. He also saw that his slave was not very happy to see him, and the little slave seemed to have lost a lot of weight, but was much more free in his actions. This made him very curious about how the other side survived these days and how he managed to achieve such freedom. Yan Mo turned to the human face bird and said without resentment, I am hungry. He said that he patted his belly and pretended to hold something to his mouth, and the upper and lower jaws made a biting pose several times. This movement is easy to understand. When the chicks are hungry they are also screaming and opening their mouth. Zhu Feng quickly understand. Zhu Feng flew up, but it did not immediately go away it first flew to Yan Mo and stretched out his claws. Yan Mo didn't understand, but considering that it was not an objection, he held the paw again with both hands in order to express his surrender and friendliness. Zhu Feng carried and brought Yan Mo to the open space, lowered him and shook his claws. Yan Mo automatically jumped off. Zhu Feng was free to fly away, and the little two-legged monster can fun with them, and it doesn't have to worry about them fleeing together. Yan Mo, Yuan Zhan, and Yuan Meng finally won the victory in the sacred water of Lishan. When Yan Mo spoke to the mountain god Zhu Feng, Yuan Zhan was shocked. When he saw that Zhu Feng flew the little slave to them, he was even more surprised to say nothing, he was watching the little slave who jumped down and stupidly staring at him. He watched him for a long time. Yuan Zhan spoke up. You are still alive. Yan Mo was a bit confused. 
He seems to have heard something quite complicated and tangled tone in this sentence. Yes, I am still alive. Why were you not eaten the mountain god Ju Feng? Yuan Zhang asked directly. When Yan Mo saw the two men, he knew that he would definitely be asked a similar question. For this, he had already had a belly fully of explanations, but he did not expect that the face bird was actually called by Yuan Zhang as a mountain god. For this reason, the words he had prepared immediately changed a little, and the words spit from the mouth became, because the mountain god Zhu Feng wanted me to be its priest. The young boy who talked had a light face, but his current image is not suitable for his expression. Ah! 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 The person who made such strange noises needless to say, naturally it is Yuan Ming. The referent Yan Mo, who pointed to the sky indiscriminately, finally looked at Yuan Zhan and slammed a sentence, Your little slave is gone mad. Yuan Zhan raised his eyebrows, snorted, and refused to admit it. Are you a priest recognized by the mountain god, anyway, you are my slave, if you want to stop being my slave, wait for me to say it. Just when Yan Mo wanted to add two sentences, Yuan Zhan suddenly got up and said to him, Take off the animal skin. At the same time, on a certain open space on the same continent, an old priest who sat cross-legged in the sun suddenly trembled abruptly, then violently raised his head, his eyes opened, his eyelids widened to the maximum, all the whites turned out and the eye rolled backwards and after a long period of shaking, his lips shouted, The tribe, the new tribe will appear, the mountain god had anointed the priest. The young priest disciple sitting next to the old priest heard the words immediately rushed forward. The old priest body and fell down, anxiously whispered, De Wu De Ren. The old priest grabbed the disciple's wrist, staring at him with his eyes dizzying, his whole body was exhausted and spit out the last sentence of his life, Ju Yuan. This tribe will be our biggest enemy. And Yan Emo, who has been unaware of his tribe that is yet to be established, had been paralyzed for three seconds by Yuan Zhan's words. What are you talking about? He was very suspicious of what he heard in his ears. Yuan Meng also poked Yuan Zhan, Don't be so anxious, don't you have any pain in your feet? I am not in a hurry to touch your slave. Yuan Zhan almost laughed at the two people. I wanted you to take off the animal skin because your leather is the largest. You don't want to get out of Lishan Zhu's. This shrub is called Lishan Zhu's. In order to show that he did not misunderstand the other party's intentions, Yan Mo pulled his body leather garments at the fastest speed. Wow! You are so smart! Yuan Meng's eyes sparkled and he looked at Yuan Zhan admiringly. You also take off yours. Yuan Zhan was not very good at their current situation. How come do these two people don't feel even a little nervous? Is the mountain god so good to wait for? If it raises a paw caught you you end up as dinner. Besides, if the little slave became a priest, then what about him? Is he going to be dedicated to the sacrifice from the mountain god? At this time, if he doesn't die for the mountain god, why won't you run away, are you stupid? Yuan Zhan took apart Yuan Meng leather armor and wrapped it around his legs and feet, and then tied it with a leather cord. Then the leather arm that was removed from the leg was wrapped around the arm and the leather armor on the body was not moved. And Yan Mo's animal skin suit was used to cover himself from the head, only trying to reveal two eyes. After being armed like this, Yuan Zhan walked with the skins removed from the two leather armors and walked toward the narrowest bush. Looking at him nervously behind him were Yuan Meng and Yan Mo. Yuan Zhan was responsible for the open road, not only to go out, but also to give the people behind to try to clear a way to pass. Once the shrubs grow, the roots will be entangled, but as long as the strength is great, they can be pulled out one by one, and the roots that are broken in the soil will not be threatened with the soil. Yan Mo looked up at the sky. He hoped that Zhu Feng would come back later, not when they were escaping, but that he wanted to prove one thing to the face bird. Fortunately, until all three of them came out safely from Lishan's shrub Zhu Feng have not yet returned. Although they came out, the three people did not come out unscathed. Fortunately, Yan Mo already knew how to treat this poison, 
and did not let the three of them suffer too much. However, because he was the last person to come out, Yu and Zhang, who came out at the front, had a painful experience time. Don't look at Yu and Zhang's whole body wrapped like a bear, but the animal skin is wrapped tightly, there were be some gaps, and he had the skin blisters. If the animal skin can made gloves but the technique is not here yet. A similar thing appeared, which eventually led to the most serious injury in his hands. He was very curious about the cobblestones, and he still wanted to take a few so he walked. The animal skin was soaked in the stream and they used a few stones to wash the ooze. Yan Mo said to the two warriors who were about to leave, You look up and see? What did you see? Yu and Zhan and Meng looked up at Yan Mo at the same time. The direction of the finger. Red grass. Yu and Zhan saw the long purple red plant early, but he didn't think much about it. There are so many places in the world that are full of strange plants. Yu and Zhan reflexed toward the high ground near the red glass, standing on the high point and looking down, he slammed his head and ran over. In addition to the red grass, is that the lake? The reddish lake wouldn't be dyed red by the blood of the sacrifice. Yu and Zhan asked. Yan Mo looked at him with surprise. You didn't see that it was. Ah, Yu and Zhan could only see it, he almost forgot there must be different kinds of color salt the people of Yu and Ji tribe had eaten. Probably in Yu and Ji tribe, the kind salt that is known as the yellow black half crystal stones. See what? Yu and Zhan inexplicably felt that this matter was extremely important, and stared at the boy with a questioning look. Yan Mo did not answer directly, but said first, we can't leave here, because even if we escape now, we will have to come back in the future. Return? Why? Meng also came over and asked. Because the salt is here. One sentence stole two people attention. Yu and Zhan first reacted. He grabbed the boy and asked, where is the salt? Didn't you already see it? Yan Mo frowned, and the boy's hand was really strong. If you don't you need to be a coolie. Someone has hardly suppressed the dissatisfaction of his heart. Yu and Zhang jerked his head and looked at the reddish lake, which was so big that he wondered if he would twist his head. Yu and Meng still a little bit paralyzed, looking around, what did you see? Where is the salt? That is called the red salt. Yan Mo pointed to the lake and explained plainly, is there any crystal blocks you see there? If you don't refine them, you can eat it directly. The side effects are probably similar to the salt offered by the Yunshan slash Salt Mountain people. But if you recook and refine several of the crystal blocks with appropriate water for a few times, you will get a fine salt with almost no odor. As long as you eat it once, you will understand its benefits. Some words, you and Jean didn't understand them but he understood the whole intention of paragraph. Surprisingly and unsurely pointing to the huge lake that they could not see the end margins ahead, Yu and Meng asked while he was stuttering, You, you mean, that, all the transparent stones like flowers in the lake are salt? No. Yan Mo shook his head. Excited, he thought, if the transparent stone in such a big lake is salt, then everyone should eat salt and save so much meat just eat a bowl and pour a bowl. Yu and Zhang didn't think so easily. He thought of the sea that the boy had said. He said that salt was in the sea. What about this place here? The water in this lake is not. Yan Mo gave a definite answer, in addition to those crystal blocks, the water in the lake can be dried out as long as it is dried you can get salt. What? Yu and Meng nearly fainted, you mean that big and big? How can a water in a lake turn into salt? Yu and Zhang may have looked calm except that his hand was shaking slightly. Yu and Meng's reaction was the most real and direct. He absolutely doesn't believe it. He repeatedly asks Yan Mo, and keeps talking while circling him, Really? Is this true? Is there so much salt? You won't be trying to make fun of me? Or? Maybe I am dead, I was eaten by the mountain god, I am dreaming now. 1. Drama Boy if you are eaten, 
why would you still have to dream that kind of bullshit Yan Mo gave him an annoyed, bursting out. Grasping his hair with his hands, Yuan Meng looked like a man still in a dreamy expression. Yan Mo can understand Yuan Meng's state. As the soul from modern civilization, salt is not unusual thing. However, for these primitive people of this era, let alone possessing salts, they can see happiness in such a large salt lake enough to kilt over. Yuan Zhang calmed down a bit and his mind began to turn normally. A big salt lake is here. It is impossible for no one to not know about it. If no one knows, then there is no tribe living in the distance of at least five days away. If anyone knows, they will occupy it. Yuan Zhan was sure to continue saying, You can't see any figures here, and there are no leather tents and grass nests. It can be understood that even if someone knows about this salt lake, they don't dare to come here. Because the mountain god Chu Feng. Yan Mo whispered. Yuan Zhan nodded. Yes, because the mountain god is Chu Feng. Yan Mo said, So we can't escape. If you let Chu Feng remember to hate us, we won't get to come here again to get assault. Say you are hungry. Don't be hungry. If we don't escape, then let's find something to eat. The stupid bird still doesn't know when it will come back. It's a pity that such a big two people are not here. It is just that he is ready to explore the wetland of the growing wing. Sudden God's turning made Yuan Zhan silent, and then so excited, he just saw a few fish in the creek, and the most exciting thing for him is that today he can use a lot of salt on the fish. To this end, when the Ju Feng claws carried a horned cow and a bunch of fruit flying back in its mouths, it saw that the three two-legged monsters that had been thrown into the Lishan shrub in compass actually ran out together. But these three two-legged monsters did not escape, and they were huddled together on the open space in front of the stone pillar. How did they escape? Ju Feng was amazed. In addition to what you said about the sodium sulfate, there is only Lishan ooze and weeds around here. Where can I go to find branches for you to get fire? Yuan Zhan was angry at the picky of the little slave, how can the fish not be eaten raw, just a little bit, you can fill your stomach. There are stones. Yuan Meng smashed two pieces of gravel from under the stone pillar and presented it to Yuan Zhan like a baby. Yuan Zhan bared his fangs, too small. Can't use them. Yuan Zhan was curiously looking at Yan Emo, little Emo. What are you doing? Yan Mo wiped the sweat, replied not too seriously, I am trying Yo use the salt crystals to make a magnifying glass. When I was a child, I used a magnifying glass to ignite the toilet paper using the Sunday. Little Mo, what the hell are you talking about? Yan Mo heard Yuan Meng ask. Yan Mo sat down on the ground and threw away the salt crystals in his hands. No matter whether he was naked or not, he sat open with two legs open. I am exhausted, and using this stuff to make a magnifying glass is really wishful thinking so many impurities, its transparency is so low, I'm afraid it's no effect. No matter, the fish is brought it can only be eaten raw. Even if there are parasites, I will talk about it later. Yuan Zhan and Meng suddenly went up and jumped together to prepare for defense and attack. Although they have no wooden spears. Yan Mo took a slow step to feel the black shadow on his head, and as soon as he looked up he saw a huge horned cow that was falling down. 1. Haha <laughs> I'd be too shocked to a cow falling from the sky. Hey! The sound of the cow crashing on the ground made people feel the ground shaking. Chu Feng dropped the horned cow and the fruit flew to the three people and could not hover. Yan Mo immediately woke up and yelled at Yuan Zhan and shouted, Abandon the attack formation. Don't make any intention to attack, relax. Abandoning attacks and staying alerting is easier said than done. Yuan Zhan, who has suffered big losses because of Zhu Feng, and Yan Mo, Yan Mo, may have the most correct way to do so, but they are still afraid that the god mountain bird will suddenly descend down and poke their eyes or scratch their heads. Zhu Feng Mountain God, here Yan Mo ran away from the two people and ran to the side and waved his head at the big bird. I am saving people. One person does not give a reduction of 100 points, 
but also a reduction of 50 points. Zhu Feng stared at the two big monsters in the sky, heard the sound of a little two-legged monster sounds in his ear, he turned to see him running a little bit, and immediately gave up on the two big ones, to chase the little two-legged monster. Yan Mo slipped looked from the air wings to the human face bird flying trying to close to him in two steps, you come back, we have no escape, just out looking for food, you know, we were hungry. Zhu Feng couldn't understand the words of the little two-legged monster but when Yan Mo touched the belly and opened the mouth, the bird guessed he should be hungry, and he pecked his head. The interaction between the giant human face bird and the boy surprised Yuan Zhan and Yuan Ming. The boy Yan Mo is not only afraid of the human face bird, but he dared to reach out and touch each other's hard claw after taking over the food. The mountain god really anointed him. At this time, Yuan Zhan thoughts gave birth to a strange feeling. It was like he was pride, and it was like a good thing that Yan Mo wasn't taken away by others. Yan Mo looked at the chunks of fresh beef that Zhu Feng wanted to share with him, and licked his lips. It would be nice if he could make a fire. Zhu Feng looked at him, Hey! You don't want to eat? It's dead, not rotten. Fire, I want fire. Yan Mo portrayed thunder and lightning, his fingers pointed on the ground, and then made a blast. Zhu Feng, Hey! Come again I don't get you. Yan Mo tried to make his point several times and painstakingly changed the final action, he was trying to get the other person, Zhu Feng Bird, to understand what fire is. Zhu Feng bowed happily, picking the most tender meat off the horned cow, tearing it off and rewarding it to Yan Mo. Yan Mo held the meat and silently shed tears for a few seconds, bowing his head and biting down. Yuan Zhan and Yuan Meng who were thrown into the Lishan shrub again looked at the painful expression on Yan Mo's face. Yuan Meng was so hungry and screaming, Little Mo give me a bite, the mountain gods will not give us any. It took our fish away. Little Mo, you two can't finish the big one by yourself. Yuan Zhan didn't talk when he sat in the open space. They couldn't run anymore, but even if they ran out, Zhu Feng would fly over and sweep them into the Lishan shrub. The two were burnt by the Lishan ooze a few times, and they learned to stay away from it. If they were driven in, they would not come out. Until the mountain god was full, and generously said that the rest of the meat was left to the, the two-legged monster, Yan Mo found the opportunity to tear off the two pieces of meat with his hands and teeth and sent them to the two. At night, Zhu Feng did not throw Yan Mo in the nest on the stone pillar, but took Yan Mo to another nest in the cliff. And Yuan Zhan and Meng were so forgotten by the mountain gods near the Lishan shrub.